हेलो वेलकम टू वीडियो ऑफ आचार्य निदान एकेडमी दिस इज द वीडियो व्हिच डिस्क्राइब्स अबाउट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ रोगमार्ग बिफोर गोइंग टू द सब्जेक्ट प्रॉपर लेट अस नो अबाउट सम ऑफ द बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स दैट वी नीड टू बी फैमिलियराइज फर्स्ट कांसेप्ट इफ यू नो अबाउट द फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड बायोलॉजी एंड फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ आयुर्वेदा देन any of the information which is described in ayurveda can be learned with the deepest understanding second whenever we are going to learn the concepts we have to practice the concept of minimalism minimalism refers to we have to take one small topic and from multiple angles we have to discuss or we have to think on that particular topic so from the point, let us say the for example let us say if you are learning about the concept of uh, roga marga from the point of roganidana from the point of kriya sharira from the point of biochemistry from the point of uh, clinical pathology from the point of the internal medicine so we are going into the concepts of roga marga from different angles so that we can have the deepest understanding there third whenever we are going in to learn the concepts of roganidana first and foremost we have to have the kriya sharira understanding very well if we know about the concepts of roganidana from each and every corner then practicing roganidana practicing kaya chikitsa is not at all a difficult thing so that means if you want to be a good successful practitioner you have to have a very good understanding of kriya sharira then roganidana which in turn may have a better understanding of kaya chikitsa fourth whenever we are going to learn any of the new concepts try to identify the patterns pattern identification is very very essential so that we can modify the patterns uh, and as well as we can create the patterns let us give you an example suppose if a person is taking sour buttermilk for more than 10 to 12 days at night time say for example 200 300 ml if he is consuming added with a little bit amount of green chili and a little bit of salt that actually responsible for the increase of pitta dosha in the body to the maximum extent in that particular situation the person may have an for example burning in the epigastric region sometimes sore erectation sometimes headache specifically observed in the noon or at midnight or when a person goes to the ex sunlight so these are the different aspects that may be observed in a person who is consuming sour butter milk the first and foremost modification that has to be done that is stopping this particular sour butter milk added with green chili and salt instead what he can practice that is what is called a pattern creation that is he has to consume the freshly prepared butter milk that may be there or otherwise he can take the warm water or even he can take the simple milk freshly without adding any sugar etc that has to be taken so this is what is considered to be pattern identification pattern modification pattern creation and fifth one no compromise in the ayurveda fundamentals that will be taken while learning the concepts the another major thing that is whenever if you are uh, studying ayurveda we have to study ayurveda from that particular point only that is ayurveda informations from that particular point and western information that has to be learned from the western side when so we are knowing about these different step by step processes then we can able to connect at different intervals if just like the what you say that the railway tracks if you are able to connect it then uh, from both the sides if you are able to give the probable answer probably we are moving in the right direction that means whenever we are learning ayurveda we have to learn like studying a new language or learning a new language with this particular concepts let us have the concept of roga marga there so whenever if you say concept of roga marga it comprises of two words one that is roga and marga the term roga refers to the disease manifestation any of the discomfort which is not usual to the body can be considered as roga for example vomiting 
it is not usually occurring uh, manifestation or otherwise pain in the epigastric region or otherwise simple uh, diarrhea or loose stools or pain while defecation or the person is having the bleeding per rectum these are the different clinical manifestations they are not usually happening in the individuals whereas the marker refers to the pathway where and all we are looking into that so these diseases are being observed that is marga when you think about the roga marga so that is actually from ayurveda point of view we can able to compartmentalize these different informations for example when you say about the kosha ayurveda says it is elementary canal elementary canal it is the part which is extending from mouth to anus so that is one of the major uh, roga marga that is being also being considered as abhyantara roga marga abhyantara roga marga in the sense where the disease manifestation commences and it is being considered to be happening because of the abnormal digestive fire abnormal functions of digestive fire that is what is considered to be abhyantara roga marga and that is the initiating point for the disease manifestation from there when you think about the uh, uh total digestion of food let us say the person is consuming the food from the mouth uh, he is consuming the food from there the food will be entering into the esophagus from there it will enter into the stomach from the stomach it will enter into the small intestine and large intestine so when you think about the food intake the food substances when it enters into the stomach that is not in an absorbable form that is what is considered to be either that may food may be either in the macromolecular form or intermediate molecular form that has to be properly digested so that it ha has to be turned into micromolecular form that will be getting absorbed into the capillaries of the uh, capillaries of the alimentary canal from there the food substances that is micromolecular food substance enter into the liver from the liver it will enter into the inferior vena cava via hepatic veins from the inferior vena cava that will be entering into the right atrium right ventricle pulmonary artery pulmonary veins from there left atrium left ventricle aorta and the uh, capillaries of the cardiovascular system from the uh, capillaries of the elementary canal till the capillaries of the uh, cardiovascular system that is being termed as intravascular compartment and from the uh, capillaries of the cardiovascular system the nutrients will be entering into the interstitial space which is being termed as interstitial compartment and interstitial compartment comprises of multiple cells from the interstitial compartment these nutrients will be entering into the cells which is being termed as intracellular compartment as we have discussed at the beginning the kosha is considered to be abhyantara roga marga whereas the uh, intravascular compartment interstitial compartment intracellular compartment outside the bones joints and viscera as well as marma that is being considered as shakha roga marga or bahya roga marga and intravascular compartment interstitial compartment intracellular compartment inside the bones joints and viscera they are being considered as madhyama roga marga so let us look into that this is about the nutrient portion so how this is can be applied in terms of roga marga there so as such that is being mentioned the food intake along with the food even pathogens will be entering into the elementary canal via mouth so these pathogens they are usually moving into the intravascular compartment maybe if they are smaller ones that will be entering via hepatic system if they are larger molecules that will be via entering via 
the lymphatic system from there these uh, pathogens that will be entering into the blood vessels from there it will be entering into the capillaries from the capillaries it will be entering into the interstitial compartment and from the interstitial compartment it will be entering into the intracellular compartment so this one is comprising the roga marga there so that means if the uh, pathogens they are being present only in the elementary canal we may say that the pathogens are being observed in the abhyantara roga marga and if the pathogens are present in the intravascular compartment interstitial compartment and intracellular compartment outside the bones joints and viscera and marma they are being considered as bahya roga marga and if the pathogens are being present in the intravascular compartment interstitial compartment and intracellular compartment they are being considered as the madhyama roga marga so the take home point from the today's session is roga marga is a very very important concept of ayurveda diagnostics that is roga nidana and most of the diseases they commence from gastro intestinal tract compartment or elementary canal because ayurveda says rogaha sarve api mande agna rogaha sarve api mande agna so that means all the diseases are manifested because of abnormal digestive fire so that means the macro molecules are not in a position to get converted into micro molecules so as such because of that so they are usually entering into the intravascular compartment sometimes via either portal system or lymphatic system so that means the pathogens entry will be from the elementary canal intravascular compartment interstitial compartment and intracellular compartment suppose if a person is having the wound and the pathogens are being entering into the uh, wound that means that is bypassing elementary canal that will be entering via the uh, that will be entering via intravascular compartment okay so these are the uh, important informations related to roga marga in the coming session we are going to discuss why we need to know about the concept of roga marga what is the benefit of the roga marga understanding we are going to learn if you are uh, uh, if you are finding this particular video worth watching then try to give the what are the major key takeaways from today's session mention below and if you are want to have some more informations then what are the information that you that you would like to have mention below and if you are really liking the video then spread this particular video to the maximum number of people who are true ayurveda learners let us make a this particular small message into a moment thank you